What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. At the end of each month, I go over my algo trading results in full transparency and show you how much I made or lost from that previous month. In today's video, we're gonna be going over March 2021 and how my trading algos performed. Overall, it was a great month. Let's get started. All right, so here is my results. We had an amazing month. Before I get started, once again, full transparency, you can see my account number here. If I click SIM account, SIM 101, which is paper trading or a demo account, you can see the results change. So I'm unchecking SIM 101, and these are just results from my actual account with real money, real trades. Uh, once again, showing you full transparency. So let's talk about the results. Um, from a dollar perspective, I made $1,727.55 in net profit after commissions. This is in US dollars. This 9.71% return on investment um, is not relative to my account. That's just saying that from the entry and exit prices, overall, I made 9.71%. In relative to my account, I made just over 10%. Um, I did make some withdrawals, so I had about, um, you know, 18, I think it was like 17K in the account. So, um, you know, basically a 10% return, which is incredible for one month. This is from March 1st, 2021 to March 31st, 2021. If you can see my mouse there. Um, so yeah, these are returns I made. Um, we had a profit factor of 1.96. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them. I know I usually do, but in total I made 35 trades, 60% of them were winners. Um, let's take off the percentage here. Let's do just currency. Um, my average trade, so on average, every trade I placed made $49.36. Uh, largest winning trade was 398, and the largest losing trade was 414. Um, I'm not gonna go through all the stats like I did last time. Let's look at the analysis. Uh, we can see that the first trade uh, was on around March 8th. And I was down about $200 at the beginning. Um, and then we saw, you know, a decent, decent profits and, and holding. Um, yeah, we saw a, a quite a bit of a dip earlier in the month. Lots of sell offs, especially in tech. And I took some some big losses um, on the NASDAQ. You can see my first two. Um, let's do by Yeah, first trade, I was down 388. And then the next trade, I was down 477. And then I started picking up from there. Um, but yeah, we saw a large, a, a large sell off in tech. And that definitely affected me for sure. Um, let's see. Every week, I made a profit. That was awesome, actually. But yeah, that's kind of what my, my month looked like there. Um, what else do we got that we can look at? Let's look at max drawdown as well. So yeah, we had some some decent drawdowns. These were kind of the worst days. $513 drawdown on the 10th. Interesting. Those are daily days, what I made on each day. Um, I think the, the rest is fine. This is cumulative drawdown. Yeah, I think that's fine. Anyways, we'll head back. So yeah, overall, um, I'm mainly running mean reversion strategies right now. And what mean reversion is, is basically hoping, hoping that betting that the price will return to the average, right? So when you, I trade right now, I just trade the indices, right? The, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, S&P 500, and the Russell 2000. Okay. So these are indexes of, you know, an average of, you know, X amount of stocks, okay, whatever they track. And on average, they return to an average price. They generally trend up, but you know, if they're way overbought or oversold, whatever it may be, they generally trend to an average price. And those are what my strategies focus on. Obviously, you can never time trades perfectly. And I had some, because we saw a lot of volatility in March, you know, we made some decent money. You know, we saw, here I'll pull up a chart of, let's see, let's do a new chart. I'll just pull up the NASDAQ, which is, probably of the four indices is the most, the most um, volatile. So we saw in March, we got a lot of movement, right? I mean, we're talking hundreds of points, a uh, thousand points actually, dips. Um, so this is when a mean reversion strategy works really good when there's a lot of movement, right? And you have the opportunity to short and to, um, you know, switch back and go long and have enough time to switch, okay? 
Um, so if we actually look at, go back to our analysis here, we made the majority of our profit around the 11th, right? Which was this day. You could saw that I made $900 that day pretty much. Um, and that's when a lot of the movement happened. Earlier in the, in the month, there was less volatility. And generally with less volatility equals less profits, especially if you're you know, having lots of strategies. When there's less volatility, generally buy and hold works better. But yeah, overall, I'm super happy um, to do these returns. You know, as an awesome month. You saw my last February month where I only made $98. Uh, so now to make $1,700 and, you know, just around 10% return in a month is incredible. I'm pretty happy. Um, my short trades were red. And I like when both my long and short are white, meaning they're both profitable. Because it just it reduces my risk a lot if they can both be profitable. And I failed once again. So um, I'm not, you know... I'm market neutral or I'll trade either way, long and short, but I would like them to be, they don't have to be even, but I would like the short to be in the white. So um, I am incubating right now a couple strategies, about four of them. Well, one on, on four different asset classes or four different symbols, sorry. And it trades one day a week and it's momentum based. So I'm like, super excited to add it. So far it's going really well. Um, it crushed it in March. So um, I think I'll be enabling it uh, this month in April for sure. And if you guys saw my previous video about AI generation, um, I'm using that to generate new strategies too, but that's that's quite, that's quite not quite there yet. So I am still working on that. Um, but yeah, overall pretty happy. I mean, I can't complain 10% in a month, $1,700 in profit. I'll take it, you know. Um, I, I'm, I'm back on it on, on April and you know, this is just another day, another day in the life, you know, of, of doing this, so. Um, yeah, I think that's all I had for you guys today. That was it, the, just the March returns. Um, episode seven of our Interactive Brokers. No, it's not episode seven, sorry. It's epi episode, I think we're on four or five, but the next one's coming out um, and I picked a strategy from the comments below. So that's the next video come out. And then after that is a uh, crypto trading bot video as well. So super excited for those. If you found value in this video and my returns and me talking about it, let me know in the comments below and hit a like button. Um, if you don't like these, also let me know. But I know from the majority of people that watch, they like seeing me show my returns, whether, whether it's positive and profitable or not. Um, but once again, I just want to um, share this journey with you guys and be transparent as possible and, and show you that, you know, this is how much you can make or lose in a month. It's not easy, but at least you get to kind of follow along with me in this journey of algo trading, investing, and using essentially AI and code to potentially make you profit, right? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next week. Peace out guys.